Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today is another Photoshop tutorial which is basically how to kind of create these wires as you see here. Uh, it's a pretty simple tutorial I have seen it about before. Uh, so I don't really want to make a tutorial on it to kind of be accused of copying but uh, <laughs> on a few of my videos I've been, uh, when I've been asked what tutorials um, one of the most common things was actually how to create wires. Uh, so here was a video on basically just how to do so. So I'm just going to go to File New, make a new canvas, 12 by 720 with the background contents is white, and click OK. And first things first, I'm going to unlock the layer, double click on the layer, and I'm going to go to Gradient Overlay, add a radial, reverse, and just change the black to a kind of middle-ish to light-ish grey, and increase the scale to 150. And this is just the backdrop they're going to be using just to make it look a little bit more pleasant. And so I'm just going to be kind of creating some boxes, just like you just seen. Rounded box, I'm going to change the color to dark grayish. And I'm just going to draw it out like so. Move it over there a bit. Click Control J on my keyboard and move another one over here. And just so we've got two boxes, I'm going to be connecting the wires in between these boxes like shown here. So that's all set. I'm just going to add some layer property to the block box. Uh, basically just a stroke with the color white. Crank down the radius to one and on the inside. Uh, I'm also going to add an outer glow. Change the color to a black and change the blend mode to normal. And I'm just going to copy that layer style to the other box and I'm going to paste the layer style and there you go, we've kind of got the basic kind of scene set up. So now we're going to go ahead and get started on the actual part of the tutorial, which is making the wires. So you need to make sure, I'm going on the background layer, making a new layer. You want to make sure this layer goes underneath the two boxes so it, so it kind of hide under them, uh, as opposed to kind of go on top of them and delete parts. Uh, we just make give it a better look and it probably will have less chance of looking like, like an amateur, really. So we're just going to sort out the brush before we actually do the masking. Now my brush is set up right. You wanna make sure, if you go to this brushes thing here, you wanna make sure none of them are ticked. If you don't want any of them, if you maybe use them for another reason, they'll still be checked and it'll be weird. But just go to the brush drop down menu, choose the diameter, and as you see that looks like the right diameter. That's the sort of thing that it'll be like, the thickness. And also the hardness. You probably want the hardness probably to the full. Yeah, it depends on personal preference. I'm maybe going to crank down the diameter to something like 12. So that's what it'll be like. And that's looking good. So now we're going to go over to the pen tool, just with the text tool. We're going to make sure it is on paths and you want it on pen tool as opposed to freeform pen tool. And we're going to start off at the bottom for this one. And I'm just going to drag up to the top, uh, drag out a bit to create a bit of a curve. And I'm going to go down to the middle and just create a curve like so. There's kind of just a general curve. Obviously, you won't see what's behind the boxes, uh, so that's all good. So I'm going to go right click, go to Stroke Path, and I'm going to go to Brush, and I'm going to make sure you simulate pressure. Okay. And then as you can see, you see the brush comes in. That's where, that's why I made you change the brush because that's what it, that's what it'll go to. So if you have a really thick brush or a um, or a pattern, it will not work. But now I've still got the path selected. We're going to hit Delete and delete which will delete the pass and I'm just going to add some layer properties to the to the wire so I'm going to double click on the space I'm going to go to gradient overlay I'm going to change the style to reflected just so it kind of reflects the different colors and I'm going to have the first wire a nice blue color nice azure blue there, make this one a bit darker like so and that's looking okay I'm just going to uh, one thing, if you do try and add a stroke, you see that kind of Photoshop makes it all kind of dodgy and jagged around the edges. You don't want that. I kind of try to stick away from stroke on these. Instead, I kind of go for a drop shadow and just reduce the distance. Uh, maybe just increase the size and the spread also. And that's kind of opposes to doing a stroke because that looks pretty bad, if I'm honest. Anyway, take that off, and I'm going to go to pan overlay, and I've got a pan here, it's called, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, I've got quite a few pans. Um, I've got this Spider-Man one, 
uh, what you won't be able to see. So I'm just going to drag down the opacity on the gradient overlay just so we can kind of reveal the pattern overlay. Like so. Oh, I didn't mean to take stroke. And that's someone I sometimes use, but I downloaded another one recently. And it's called Meta Mesh Pattern Meta Mesh Patterns with a mouthful. Uh, link will be in the description to download. There's many of these different ones here. Uh, one I do like is this one. Uh, I tend to lower down the scale like so. Uh, you can just kind of play around really, but one kind of takes your fancy. You know, many different ones. If you have your own ones, of course, that's fine. Uh, that's looking good. I'm going to stick to the first one. I'm going to bevel and emboss. I'm going to change the angle maybe a bit closer to the middle just to really get that gloss out. I kind of get it more shiny as opposed to black. And uh, that's kind of about it. That's looking good. And that's the first wire sorted. So I'm just going to make another one now just to kind of. Which makes it look better, rubbing two, you know. I'm going to start from the top. This one's going to have more curves in it and it's going to go down straight away and up. And it's going to finish off lower as well. So I'm going to right click, go to stroke path again. And make sure it's brush and simulate pressure. Delete the path, delete, delete on the keyboard. In fact, I'm going to move it over a bit because you can see at the top left, you can kind of see it starting, which is never a good sign. And there you go. But instead of doing all these settings again, what I just go, go to the original wire, right click, copy layer style, and paste it onto the second wire. And I'm just going to change the color of it though. I'm going to go to gradient overlay, and I'm going to change the color. To a nice green, lime green sort of colour. Like so, and change this to more of a solid green. Uh, maybe a bit lighter. There we go. And that's looking good, guys. Uh, that's how to create wires in Photoshop. Um, again, as I said before, I know someone, someone made a tutorial on it. Um, you may already know how to do it. But again, it was kind of highly requested. And no, that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and I'm sure I'll see you guys soon. Bye.